What's going on guys? We are out here in Algonquin Park going to check out the Barren Canyon Trail. Uh, we're here for an overnight camping trip. We uh, just brought our four season tent and we're going to set it up at the hopefully somewhere near the top of the canyon so that uh, we've got a nice lookout over top of, uh, of the canyon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the roads were pretty tough getting in, uh, pretty snowy. So it'll be interesting getting out tomorrow because it's supposed to be continuously snowing for the next like 24 hours. So it'll be interesting what our ride out is like tomorrow, but I'm optimistic. We're already in here now, so it's a little late. And uh, yeah, sleds are all packed up. Tosser's got some new, uh, new snowshoes that he's trying out. Man, they match your... Uh, I know. I love a bumblebee. You're or, matching pretty nicely. Or a rod and banana. <laughs> You're matching pretty nice. I know, man. It's going to be a good trip. Swim through the snow. Okay. Time to swim. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. We're gonna have to keep Tosser in line this weekend. Keep him under control at all times. Speak of the devil, just huffing it. That looks heavy. Oh my god! This is so gnarly! This is so gnarly! Oh my god! <laughs> Man, I've never seen this in the winter before. This is so cool. This is unbelievable! Yo, move your sled so I can get a get a oh. peek on this. Oh my god! How do you like them apples? Dude! The Barry Canyon. This is what it looks like, folks, in the winter. Are you stoked? I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. I've wanted to come here for a very long time. You know why this doesn't disappoint? Because it doesn't feel like Algonquin at all. It doesn't, eh? Yeah, I know. It actually doesn't. I know. It's like so different than any other area of the park. It's like so like desolate, like there's nothing moving, you know? Like it's barren? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy. All right, so for lunch, I've got a little summer sausage with some cheese, mustard, and some Tabasco sauce. We're just gonna have a little snack and then head out to get some firewood and do some exploring. We've got a sweet little spot perched up on the edge of the rock face here with the tent. Should be nice for tonight. Hopefully we can get some good photos. And already we've had an incredible view, so can't complain. Yo, how's that wrap? Almost as good as a view. Pretty good wrap, because this is a sweet view.
these nice fluffy pillows look nice, but they're actually filled with holes. So it's not really super safe to be walking out here, so we've decided to stop here and just <coughs> soak in the view from these king seats that we've made ourselves. We are hoping to make it down to the water, but it's hard to make it down. Southern comfort has always been a staple for us on trips. In the spirit of New Orleans. <laughs> Canadian style. So smooth. Yo, there's like a huge ice ledge over there. Do you see it all? Looks mm -hmm. like blue almost, the ice. Like where the rock is. Just oh, under yeah. the rock. I see that. I bet that's because the rock is warm from the sun, so it melts snow. Yeah. And creates that ice melt off. And then just slowly over time, it builds up and up and up and up. Yeah. I'm no Scientologist, but that seems right. <laughs> the snow is deep back here in the back country. All right, Toss just found us a tree. You got it, man. <laughs> Dude, this, this is the test. Say the say the words. It's bone dry. Oh bro. my god. <sighs> That's make or break the night right there. This literally just made our night. So we're having a good night. We're having a good night tonight. <laughs> Those right there are the money making logs. Insane. I know, I can't believe it still. All right, so we wanted to find a place to have a fire that was off the, the trail uh, because we don't want to leave a trace while we're camping out here. Obviously, this is a trail that's frequently traveled in the summer and we really wanted to make sure that we're not disturbing it at all. So we are gonna camp up at the top, which is the main lookout point, but we've hiked off the side a little bit along the escarpment where it's not the trail anymore. And this is where we're gonna have our campfire so that we're able to kind of clean it up after and not leave any trace. We just don't wanna have anything appear in the in the summer when this all melts. So still gives us an amazing view, but we're just trying to be responsible about it. I was getting to the point where I really needed this. I, need, I, I don't even need. think I really knew how much I needed it. It's just like now that it's here yeah. and how comforted I am right now. Yeah, how nice does it feel to have your foot sleds off? Buddy, feels like a thousand Freedom. pounds off my back. Except on my feet. That right there, folks, is the look of freedom. Look at that. See that? Right there. Nice hungry bear. 
gonna want this. So tonight for dinner we are having steak wraps. A little steak and onion mix. We've got some wraps, some cheese. It's gonna be pretty good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's looking good. We added a little Tabasco sauce as well, so she's nice and spicy. A little zing in there. Zippy. Look at that. All right, so we're just doing a little work now. Tidying up our spot from last night where we had our fire. Make sure that it doesn't look like we were ever here. We took all the burnt logs and I walked them off into the bush over there, way off the trail. And now we're just covering up a little bit of the ashes. Got the coffee brewing. You can really start to see all the ice that is built up on the outside of our tent. It's been kind of raining this morning, which is weird because it's freezing out. But it's built up like an ice layer on the outside of the tent. All right, so despite how cold it is this morning, we actually still managed to make coffee. It's the best part of any trip, in my opinion. <laughs> it definitely is the best part of any trip. All right, so I brought these cross-country skis with me all the way up to the top, and I, I was kind of hoping that I'd have time to use them yesterday, like when we were going on our exploration hike, but by the time we got camp set up, we didn't really have time. And then so I came up with another idea that I was gonna ski out, but I was gonna bring my sled all the way out first to the car, come back up, and then ski back out, and I, I'm kind of losing motivation on doing that now because it's so cold. I may have just brought cross-country skis just for the nice photo that I took with them. There's not much else to say about that. <laughs> I have skis on, but they're kind of sticking to the snow, so it might not be the smoothest ride out, but whatever. We're, it was nice to hike up one more time anyways. Oh, big time. Another great trip in the bush. One nighter, a little cold this morning, but overall like beautiful views, some good food and some good times. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> All right, we're heading home. See you on the next one. This is the moment we've been training for right here. This is the big leagues. So I would just like to say that uh, the performance you guys saw on the skis was not my best performance and it wasn't my fault whatsoever it was just totally uh, the the equipment that I was using so I'm actually a professional cross-country skier and uh, yeah so it's just what you saw there was reflected in the gear not me. 